Greetings, my esteemed Laddingtons. Today I thought to talk a bit about testosterone, since I saw that the film director of Avatar, James Cameron, calls testosterone a toxin. Now, a common misconception I often see is that people think testosterone is something that makes you angry and violent, and uh, you know they associate it with that sort of malfunctioning masculinity and they call it toxic masculinity. Now, testosterone doesn't make you angry, it doesn't make you violent, it doesn't make you act in a certain way. What it does, however, what it is, it's to explain a very deep topic in a simple manner. We can say that for a man, you need two components to attain happiness. So you need a metaphysical side of it, and you need a physical side. So the metaphysical side is, of course, that you are on on the journey towards a goal. So you have a goal, what makes you go up in the morning? Yes, because you have a goal for the day and uh, happiness is then the ability to pursue that goal. That is the, we can call it metaphysical component. The physical component of this is testosterone. So if you don't have any testosterone, then you will be depressed basically. And this is also something why I recommend that you don't take testosterone until you get older. And that is if you have younger guys, they go on testosterone, then they go off it, they become depressed because since they inject steroids, testosterone into their body, then when they go off, they don't have any natural production since it has shut down and they don't get any anything via, um, via the outside, so to speak. So if you think of it in that way, that a man without testosterone is a man without any sort of go or drive or will to power at all. And that is, yeah, of course, then you will be depressed. So the biological component of happiness, very simplified. I know this is a very deep topic. I just want to make a point. The biological component, what makes you get out of bed saying that, oh, this is a bright day ahead of me. I feel full of life, I feel happy to be able to pursue my goals. The biological component is testosterone. Now, if you take away testosterone, the metaphysical component of, you know, your drive, your will to accomplish things, that is a lot harder to um, to activate. So, mind and body, they are one. Metaphysical, physical, they are also one. You need one to do the other. Then, of course, also, you can have a healthy testosterone, and if you don't have the metaphysical part in place, that you don't have any goals, um, you don't have anything to look forward to, then you will also become unhappy. So, whenever I see, you know, people talking bad about testosterone, they don't understand it. They, you know, say toxic masculinity here, toxic masculinity there. A toxic masculinity is a man who is unhappy. So testosterone is actually a cure for unhappiness then. So what I would say that, you know, testosterone, if you have a healthy testosterone that enables you to have a good, solid, happy life, it's the fuel for you to go along the path of your um, your quest. So again, a very long story, but the main point of this video is that don't view testosterone as something that makes you angry and, you know, a stereotype of a man who goes around thinking he's cool or tough or anything. Testosterone is simply your biological willpower, as it were, and you need it to feel happy. Um, and it's a component that is vital to your to the metaphysical side as well. So anyway, since we are on the topic, I talk more about testosterone in this fine book right here. Mandatory reading. If you haven't read it, you must do so immediately. First link in the description box below. So I just wanted to chime in with that little pointer. Hopefully it's helpful in an understanding of testosterone. So essentially, to conclude yet again, testosterone is saying to you, let's go champ. That is what it does. It doesn't say to you to be aggressive or violent or anything like that. So thank you for watching. Thank you for admiring my physique. XXO, boom.